Oh, please. You're not coming in. Possession's nine-tenths of the law. Uh, actually, no, it isn't. But I see from your straw clutching that Mr. Rawlins must have reminded you of my mother's legal rights. I can go through it again with you, if you like. Really slowly. Oh, I understand the law, all right, Larry. I just don't agree with it. And petulance doesn't count as a legal argument. I am not interested in arguing legal points with her puppet. And don't call me Larry. I'm sorry. I won't ever again. Lads, boys, boys! Now just wait for the school bell to ring. And sort it out behind the bike shed. Scarlet! Oh, I thought you said five minutes. <laughs> Get a cab next time. Oh, I would have done, but the Dingle Taxi Empire were busy. Wear something reflective if you're going to go out for a midnight ramble. Oh, oh, you stay away from Purdy, you stay away from Casey, or I will bury you somewhere where no one will find you. Come on, all right? You want trouble? You got it. All right. What have you done now? You don't stay out of trouble for five minutes. What have you done with her? I will beat the truth out of you! Then you'll have me to deal with. You're making a fool of yourself. Well, I'll let him get it out of his system. He's bound to miss his mummy. She was suckling him till a couple of weeks ago. Oh, back off, Grey. This isn't solving anything. Come away. You can stand there looking smug if you like. But if you've hurt her, you are going to suffer in ways in which your tiny mind isn't capable of imagining. Popular as a bubonic plague. Oh, well, we ought to be used to it by now. Getting death threats? No. Oh. No. Just a bit of business I need to take care of. What did you do to her? Nothing. I didn't get a chance. I just have to hope that somebody else did the job for me. Do something, Ashley! Ashley! You want to be ashamed of yourselves! This is not how I want to remember my village! It's all right. I was just leaving anyway. Stay where you are. Whatever's happened, Brawling's never solved anything. Well done. I understand you need a new lawyer. Who told you I needed a lawyer? You don't think I'd want you. Well, that certainly makes my life easier because I'm not sure I can take this case on. You see, a lawyer has to believe that their client's innocent. And in my opinion, you're anything but. Who let you in here? Was it You wrong? see, there's just too much evidence stacked against you, so my advice is, professionally speaking, that you should admit to murdering my mother. I didn't murder Plead her. provocation. But be prepared to spend an awfully long time in prison. My wife will probably miss you more than me. You've seen... Sorry? Seen what? What have I seen, Matty? <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody! Ten, nine, eight, seven. What do you think you're playing at? Six, Happy New Year, Purdy, darling. Five, Your evil bitch of a mother four, isn't going anywhere near me, Dad's grave. Three, She's going on top two, of it. Apparently it's one, what he always wanted. Happy New Year! Oh, oh, 
And there's nothing you can do about it. Because it's in your dad's will. Over my dead body. Left me no choice. This is a funeral. People are grieving. I don't see any tears being shed. Stop that! Stop that right now! You're desecrating holy ground! For God's sake, Matthew, Tom wouldn't have wanted this. She's my mother! Our mother. And we're gonna lay her to rest. You have to get past me first. Please, Matthew, don't do this. We all know that you loved Tom, but this isn't right. Surely you can see that. I'm not going anywhere. Well, if not for Grayson, then do it for me. It's what I want. If my dad hadn't met her, he would still be with us today. I couldn't save him from her while he was alive, so I am damned if I'm going to let her anywhere near him now he's dead. Have you all got that? How could you do that? He attacked me with a big girl's blouse. Can you blame him after what you've done? Hey, pack it in! Grayson, what are you doing? I said stop it! Leave it, Matt! Get your hands off me, Jimmy! This has gone too far! Girl, stop him! Jimmy's right! This has got out of time. Come on. I will dig it up again, I swear! For goodness sake, listen to yourselves! Grayson, please stop. I am going to bury my mother, and no one is going to stop me. Do you hear me? No one. We will bury her. I promise. She doesn't deserve this. No one deserves this. I know. <laughs> Just share the word and I'll shout you out for you. That's the last thing we want. Gentlemen, I think we all just need to calm down. Can't you just bury her somewhere else? That's all we're asking. Take the bitch to the creme, she's gonna burn in hell anyway. You heartless! Get up in! Get up in! Come on! Grayson, let go! Leave it! Let go! Grayson, get come off him! Come on! Come on! Grayson, come! Get up. Get up. Get up. Leave him now. Leave him. I hope you're proud of yourselves. I know what you think about Grayson, but he is grieving for his mother. He was stood on top of my father. Don't expect me to say sorry. You're going to leave with his officers, Matthew. Not cause any more trouble. Do as he says. Yeah, you've made your point. You just don't get it, do you? The three people I thought I could trust, and you've stabbed me in the back, every one of you. After everything that woman did to you, I was the only one who stood by you. Not your spineless and poly for an husband. Me. If Tom knew what you'd done today, he'd wash his hands of you. Take him away. We've heard enough of his self-righteous drivel. This doesn't end here. Come on, boys. It's not over. You had enough of this show already, Casey? You looking for Katie too, then? Isn't that a bit heavy for your limp wrists? Where is she? I mean, if I am going to get hijacked by anyone, it would have to be the world's number one mummy's boy, wouldn't it? Shut your mouth and listen. I've put up with your nonsense for long enough. Now, I've come here to find my son, and for that I need Katie, so... She's gone away. Is it her mother? In Greece. Is that why you thought she'd come back from the show? How long does this blasted fair go on for? Hours. How long? Till evening, and then she'll probably go for a drink with everybody else. Oh, yeah, of course. She's going to take the horse down to Woolpack, isn't she? Why are you doing this? I told you. Oh, yeah. Like the authorities are going to let you have the child because you're waving a gun around. They're going to lock you up in a nuthouse and throw away the key. I'm not stupid. Of course you aren't. I'm quite happy for the court to decide on who's the most suitable parent. 
You mean you and your legal cronies will tear Purdy apart? Clever boy. But in order to do that, I need to know where she is. Like Katie will tell you. <laughs> She'll tell me. What you doing? Just taking my jacket off. Got a bit of a sweat on, which is hardly surprising under the circumstances. You can't blame me for trying. I would have thought less of you if you hadn't. Believe it or not, if I was in your position, I'd do the same. Not that it matters, but I'm not one of those wastrel absentee fathers that carps on about not being able to see their son. I'm a lawyer. I mean, normally there's a very good reason, either violence to the child or the mother. <laughs> You've got a gun, Grayson. Or not being able to contribute, except some ridiculous over-the-top Christmas present. See, I'd be able to give my son everything. I'd even make sure Purdy was okay. I just want to be allowed to... to love him. The way I was never loved. Is that crazy? Is that wrong? If I tell you where Purdy is, will you back off, leave Katie alone? That's all I want. Why would I bother to waste my time looking for revenge? I just want my rights. I want my boy. I came across Katie about to give birth. I wasn't even supposed to be there. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, Grayson? Let her drop it in a lay-by and leave her to it? I'm glad I was there, though, when she gave birth. It was amazing. He was... perfect. That's my son you're talking about. I didn't know what was going on between you, her and Purdy, did I? When Katie handed over the baby, I was as gobsmacked as anyone. If I tell you, you promise not to hurt Purdy? Purdy doesn't matter. But no, it is not my intention to physically hurt her. If you were to tell me where she was, I'd leave you now, as if nothing ever happened. So? I don't know where she is. Matthew, stop playing games. I really don't. But I'll find out. And I'll tell you without letting on to Katie, she'd only tip off Purdy. So what do you reckon, mate? <coughs> so sorry, mate! You see, it was the mate that did it, mate! By the time I got out of the village, you'd have warned Purdy and talked to the police! I'm not a fool! <laughs> of course you're not. <coughs> it's just everybody else is wrong. Your family, friends, oh sorry, acquaintances. Cos you haven't got any friends! <coughs> well, at least we got that in common, mate. Jimmy. Oh, yes. Hi. Katie.
It's a very personal one. Tell me where Purdy is. Hmm? Just give me some proof. A message on a phone, a letter, something concrete. Why can't you let them get on with their lives? And please spare me the clichés. I don't want to hurt Purdy and I don't want to hurt you. But unless you tell me... Katie, don't. Shut it! This is nothing to do with Matthew. That is highly debatable. It was Purdy's decision. Purdy wouldn't know a decision if it bit her in the backside. It was your decision. You sat there holding my newborn baby in your arms while I raced to be by your side. And then you coldly and calmly gave him away. Hmm. And you! You made sure I couldn't do a thing to prevent it. Is that a fair assessment of what happened? Is it? Katie! So tell me where my son is. And if I don't? I'll shoot him. One. I don't know where she is. Two. If you do this, you will never see him again. I haven't seen him full stop, thanks to you and you. That's three. You won't do it, Katie. Why? Because I'm worried I might go to prison for murder. I don't think so. But you still wouldn't know where Purdy and the baby are. So tell me. Four. Tell me. No. Five. I was hoping we were all going to meet up today. This just confirms what I always knew about our family. It's a sham. Nobody gives a toss about anybody else. Leave her alone. Tell me where she is. Wait. I'm calling the police. Wait. There's no time. There's two minutes. We can take him. Well, well, well. A full set of kings. What a surprise. Step inside, boys. Come on, Grey. Oh, is that the best you can do? I've had the matey stuff from him, followed by the hard-nosed logic angle. I've had the emotional garbage from her. So do you really think that come on, Grey's going to swing it, do you? So what do you want? I want my son! And this is the best way? That, as memory serves me, you are something of a failure as a father, aren't you? You're one of those occasional, sometimes at the weekend kind of dads. You don't talk. Get back. Carl, come on. Do it. I said back! Shoot me. Tell me where she is! Come on. Pull the trigger. Give it a squeeze. Don't push me! Shoot me! Carl! Shoot me! What have you done? Get away from him! What are you going to do, Grey? Shoot me too! Any more for any more? You better do it now, then. You know you're making it easier for me, not that it takes much! Oh! Oh! No! Katie, grab the gun! Grab it! You wouldn't. Wouldn't I? You use me. You use Purdy. And you just want to use your son. It's what you do, Grey. You need people to make you feel good about yourself. You wouldn't let your son live his life. You'd ruin it. Why wouldn't I pull his trigger? Katie, no. Why not? Because there's no need now. Come here, darling. Yeah. Give me the gun. Give me. It's okay. I'd quite like to, though. I still might. Can I join the queue? You just nicked me. That's very macho. Oh, you'd know all about that. Nothing's changed. Don't you ever give up. Would you? If it was your son? Katie, go and call an ambulance. You're not going to do anything stupid. Are you?
It's been nice catching up with you guys, but I do believe I should be moving on. You can have too much of a good thing. You're going nowhere. I beg to differ. Leave him, Matt. You what? He doesn't matter to us. You see, Matthew? I knew you didn't have it in you. I do. You sure? There you go. You wouldn't be the first. Carl, no. What difference does it make? Carl! He's not worth it. The last thing we want is the police turning us over. Especially after everything that's happened. Quite right, Jimmy. My gun, please. You must be joking. Call it an early Christmas present. Adios. We'll need statements off you all. Yeah, of course. But the ambulance should be long, OK? You might want this. Thank you. 